Howdy ho there friends, Bobby here today. Hey folks, I'm out here in the garage and we're uh, organizing, getting ready for our new business and everything. And I just was looking through some tools and I found this tool right here that I wanted to share with you uh, mechanics out there. It's called a chain wrench, okay? You may have never saw one before. Um, mainly what these are used for is to hold a crank pulley so that you can take the nut off of it, okay? Now this is not a crank pulley, this is a power steering pump pulley, but if it was a crank, it would have a, a nut here in the middle and you would be, be able to put a ratchet on there and break it loose. Now what this uh, wrench does, um, mainly, actually, I purchased this back when I was working at Infinity because on the J30s, uh, we had to do timing belts on them on a 60,000 mile service. And of course there were rear wheel drive cars and there wasn't much space in between the crank pulley and the radiator. So you couldn't get an impact wrench down there to remove the uh, crank bolt, okay? So just about everybody in the shop had a chain wrench and that's actually when I purchased one too off a tool truck. This is a blue point. I think it was a couple hundred dollars, a very expensive uh, tool to have. And you don't use it very often unless you're doing a lot of timing belts and stuff. But anyway, the way this works, you wrap the chain, the chain is attached to the tool. It wraps around whatever you're trying to hold. And then these, uh, the pieces of the chain, the, uh, that each link pivots on actually fits into these teeth here. And then you can wedge it up against something. This thing has some teeth on here and it'll bite in and hold this sucker. Okay. And then you could take your, uh, socket and with another breaker bar and you can break your bolt loose okay so that's what this tool is used for just wanted to uh, bring it to your attention i will look for some links down below i may may put a link down below for one of these chain wrenches maybe there's some other companies that make them that are a little more affordable than getting them off a tool truck but it is a tool <coughs> from time to time that you will need to use okay I, ha I actually i used it on my ford ranger i had to do a uh, time and belt on it a while back and that's the last time i used it to break uh to break the crank bolt loose and had a car at work here just a while back it was a toyota um i didn't have a chain wrench with me it was here at the house i wish i did have it that day because we had a had one that someone had been into before and they had actually stripped the crank bolt out and I had a heck of a time getting all that out had to end up tapping the uh, end of the crankshaft and getting the threads straightened up and we had to get a brand new crank bolt and uh, we put that in there after I had the timing belt done and made sure we had some Loctite on it and uh, as far as I know that car has never come back we had a good repair on that but anyway chain wrench is very helpful to have and I'll show you here we'll just disconnect this off of here if I can one-handed if I can wiggle this up, you see how it just unhooks. You can put in any any one of these hooks that you need to, you know, depending on what size your um, crank pulley is. <clears throat> one thing that you may have to do, and I always like to do this on the J30s, is like you see these teeth there on here. They're they're pretty 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 good teeth there, and they'll bite into that crank pulley. Okay. And uh, this is really hardened steel, so it's, if it leaves teeth marks, it's going to be right here in your grooves here. So I never wanted to put, I always wanted to clean that up with a file or either a, a cutting disc on a uh, little 9 degree die grinder. I would straighten up any uh, marring that the tool might have put on the pulley. I would always straighten that up because otherwise it will cause damage to your serpentine belt uh afterwards and cause a premature serpentine belt failure so i always like to make sure that i spent the time to clean up if i had to use this tool once again this is a chain wrench used for removing crank pulleys on cars to where you cannot get an impact wrench in there to um, take the crank bolt out Friends, I hope you found this video helpful, and I'll be making plenty more uh, videos on some of the tools that I have for you young mechanics um, that you may end up having to purchase. I wouldn't uh, go out and just buy one, you know, just to have one. I mean, 
unless you're working in a place where you're doing a lot of timing belts and stuff. Uh, if you work at uh, uh, Infinity or Nissan, you may still be doing some timing belts. A lot of these engines today have switched over to uh, um, chain-driven engines, so there's not as many timing belts replaced this day and time as it was probably 10 or 15 years ago. But still a handy tool to have, okay? Friends, thank you for watching the video, and we will see you next time. Take care.